Alrighty guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I welcome you. And if you're returning, welcome back. That's usually how I start. And that's how I'm gonna to start today. Today I am in beautiful, sunny Ohio. I'm right outside Cleveland, or I guess part of Cleveland. I'm gonna show you where his ashes were scattered and where the memorial for Elliot Ness, one of the G-men from the Al Capone days. And actually the public safety director of in Cleveland after that. I'll tell you a little bit about him, but let's go check out where he, his memorial is and where his ashes were scattered. This pond right here is where the ashes of Elliot Ness were scattered. Now I'll take you over and show you the memorial rock that was put here for him. Right here. There's the rock for Elliot Ness that memorializes where his ashes were scattered. It's right here. Now, of course, Elliot Ness is not unfamiliar to many Americans. He modernized the Cleveland Police Force in an era that actually sparked the torso murderer, a serial killer that dismembered his victims. Now, Ness tried to track down the killer, but he never did. Now, he was a federal law officer. He was with the Federal Bureau of Investigations, born in Chicago, and of course, assigned to getting Al Capone. Ness decided to create a reliable team, ultimately selecting just nine men for it. See, at the time, bribes and payoffs were so common that he actually had to put together people he could trust. You probably know what the name of this team was called, but it was the Untouchables. Another frame? You got a very quick mind. Nobody will buy it, Silco. That's right, nobody. I'm glad you're worried about me. Just put a gun in my hand and assume it's a clean frame. I can't do anything. My hands are tied, what can I do? You work on the gutter, Silco, right down in the mud. That's where you belong. Now in 1931, his team was able to get Cabone convicted, convicted of 22 counts and was sentenced to, he was sentenced to 11 years in prison. Things changed for Elliot Ness after that, after the Prohibition era. Now, he took the job as director of public safety in Cleveland, Ohio. He cleaned out the police corruption in the city and attacked illegal gambling. But, as I had mentioned to you, it was his failure to, to really to catch the serial killer known as the torso murderer that overshadowed all the good things that he did. A serial killer, at least a dozen deaths, victims were dismembered with surgical precision. It started before Ness took over, but he continued to supervise the case. Then in 1942, things kind of went south. He was involved in an auto accident. He was intoxicated at the time. And all the criticism in the press actually caused him to resign his job. Now, the, his book, The Untouchables, was published shortly before his death. He died of a heart attack in 1957. Now, Ness accepted a job to manage the Guarantee Paper and Fidelity Company and moved right into this house approximately eight months before he died. He actually had a heart attack and passed away in this house on May 16th, 1957 in Pennsylvania. Now on September 10th, 1997, the ashes of Elliot Ness, his wife and their son were returned right here to Cleveland, Ohio, and they were scattered in the pond that I just showed you. And we'll go down and we'll take a look at the pond, but that's where his ashes were, were scattered. As I had mentioned to you, his time in Cleveland were, was a little bit more tumultuous. He had divorced, uh, he had moved, then he had taken a job elsewhere. Um, but it really was his days in the 
Capone era that everybody knows his name. I'm so glad I got to show you the memorial here at Lakeview of Elliot Ness. Tell you a little bit about his time in the FBI, a little bit about his time as a public safety director here in Cleveland, and just talk a little bit about him. Like I said, everybody knows his name from the Untouchables, the Capone days, and what he was able to accomplish then. He actually left a legacy in law enforcement back from those days that are, is still legend today. But this is it, this is the memorial of Elliot Ness. His ashes are scattered there. I read a little bit about his wife and I have to do a little bit more research, but she was brought back here as well. But this is the memorial for Elliot Ness. Hit that subscribe button below. I appreciate you joining me today in sunny Ohio. And uh, I'm traveling right now. Want to show you more sites and uh, pop culture, true crime, celebrity graves. So I thank you. Take care.